My name is Gina Lodge. I'm the CEO of the Academy of Executive Coaching. My name is Martin Proctor. I built and ran my own business up to last year when it was acquired by somebody else. My name is Martin Mackay and I have spent my career running software companies. Hi, I'm Mike Farker. I'm an executive coach specialising in conversational intelligence. I think trust is probably the most important value we can have now as a business leader. If you don't have that, you don't have anything. If you have a foundation for trust in your business, it means that you don't have to watch your back. You know that everybody's be, be pitching and positive for what you're trying to achieve. To drive great performance, it's clearly understood today that the key element is employee engagement, communicating with employees. And I think it is absolutely impossible to create employee engagement without trust. In his book, John talks about the three pillars. The pillar that had the most impact on me is ability. I think because it speaks to making a promise and part of the trust issues of the past are that leaders have made promises and they've not delivered. The concept of integrity is clear. The concept of ability is clear. But the idea of benevolence, I think, is new. That benevolence, that word, John has introduced this to the business world and, and I, I will love to see that blossom. Today, the trusted executive has to deliver that benevolent attitude that essentially says, you can trust me and I'm willing to engage with you across all levels of the organisation, not just my executive team. Leaders will count this as a, a blessing that they've actually got someone who can tell them how to do trust. For me, it's, it's like a road map for a new executive. Reading the book made me realise that I can be confident because the way, things I want to do, the way I want to perform in the way that he describes, is fine. It is allowed and it is the right way of doing it. It is the way that we'll work and succeed. Yeah.